This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for FIRST students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu slash FIRST. FRC Premier Night is back on Saturday, February 25th. Submit a unique video showcasing your team's charged up robot progress by Thursday, February 23rd at First Updates Now slash Premier 23. Premier Night is a great way to engage with the community. Get more information and submit your video at firstupdatesnow.com slash Premier 23. And welcome back. We're here with team number 3506 Yeti Robotics, uh, a team that we had on the Open Alliance show last year. So, of course, great veterans of this team. I love their design from last year. We can't wait to talk more with this team to find out uh, what's going on. We're going to be talking about uh, CAD controls uh, and their field build as well here today. So, guys, once you introduce yourselves, let us know uh, what you do on the team for uh, Yeti Robotics. All right. So, hello, everyone. My name is Vincent. I'm the engineering captain for Yeti Robotics, and I'm excited to be here. Uh, hey everyone, my name is Pavin. Um, I'm the mechanical lead of Yeti Robotics, and I'm also very excited to be on the Open Alliance show today. So for both of you, I gotta gotta ask just uh, gut check here. How are you feeling about uh, charged up so far? How's your team doing? Uh, you excited so far? Yeah, uh, it's been pretty exciting first couple of weeks. Um, it's definitely an interesting game. A lot more. I feel like there's a lot more strategy this year. Um, trying to figure out how to get the most points. And that cone, that cone is definitely a challenging problem to try, try and figure out how the best way of intaking it. So uh, it's definitely an interesting year. Well, yeah. I mean, if I had to add anything, I would say um, I'm, I'm excited that it's a, it's a different game. You know, we've, we've gone away from the, the ball and the shooting yeah. games. And now we've got some very diverse game pieces. So it's been very exciting. Well, before we get too excited about those rev stickers on your uh, laptop there, let's hop into your CAD and uh, check out uh, what you guys have been working on so far. Walk us through uh, uh, what your team's been going on with uh, from a CAD side. Sure. Uh, so let's go to the top level render. So these are, we have two main um, assemblies right now. And I'll let uh, Pavin go through these two uh, really quick. Yeah. So, um, I mean, throughout our whole entire design process, we just try to, um, advance every single idea um, until like the farthest we can until uh, until we know another idea is better. So we usually just like take every single idea and run with it. So that's kind of why we have um, you'll see throughout um, numerous designs for things. But yeah, so our two main kind of designs right now um, are a all in one kind of style robot. And we also have the other one, which we uh, dub as the handout style. So the um, all-in-one style, the one on the left uh, with the large arm, that one is just a, um, a, a two-stage elevator. It's just chain-driven. It flips out, and then you have a gearbox, and then you have the huge um, arm that comes over, and it flips over to the other side. Um, and that gives you the required extension to score on um, all the levels. And the handoff style, um, instead of having a two-stage, it has a three-stage, um, obviously because it doesn't have that um, the, the arm to provide the length. and um, and this one, the arm for the intake is actually a lot shorter. Um, and what it does is it just, there's a carriage at the top of the third stage. It just, yeah, here, let me, I can go for a, a cab carriage. Yeah, so it basically, we have, uh, if you see the little circle, the, the Lexan circle, um, that's kind of where the, it basically intakes the cone and it, ups, it flips it upside down into that circle. And then we have an, a piston on the, and then the elevator extends. And then um, we have a piston that then grabs onto that cone that's inside the carriage and then flips it out again. Um, so that one's a little bit more complicated, um, but yeah, we're just running, uh, we're just developing both of those designs right now. Yeah, we're just we're developing both because we're not entirely sure which one is gonna provide the best cycle times right now and which one's gonna be most mechanically feasible to build. That's what I was gonna ask, has your team had a chance to do any uh, testing on these at all outside of uh, CAD for this? Um, so for the actual like elevators, um, we're mainly basing them off of, uh, let's see, sorry, this is, we have the table of contents, but I can't get back to it about scoring through everything I just realized, but we have built care, uh, we've built elevators in the past. So we're make, we're basing most of our, uh, elevator experience on those, um, and then we're also, we've been able to test like the carriage you see on the right there, 
you want to show the video of this one? Yeah, yeah, we can. Uh, this is, this, here we go. This so is this is, the, yeah, this is a video of the carriage, uh, a prototype of the carriage, not the full one, but of how it would work. So yeah, um, that's that's our carriage, and then as you have probably seen uh, pictures of some of the other prototypes we've been making, uh, the ones with the green compression wheels here are is pretty similar to what we're uh, have in CAD, and that's our main like design we're going with right now. But we have a couple of the uh, intake designs that we are experimenting with currently. Very cool. So, so you're 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 experimenting in CAD. You've done some prototyping. Um, you have a couple concepts. So let's talk about time for a second. So we are now in week three, right? Um, mm -hmm. And so when are you going to pull the trigger on one design versus the other one? So I think right now we're um, we're already getting some parts in and. Um, because both designs are fairly similar, the, mo the biggest difference is, again, just the carriage. Uh, so the first two stages, the elevator is basically the same. Um, and because of that, we are hoping to be able to get most of the robot built, and then we will be able to get a better idea of which, which of those mechanisms is going to fit our robot better. Um, I think... I think CAD is actually going to have their meeting tonight to look at the feasibility of each one. Um, Alvin, you have anything else to add? Um, yeah, just continuing what he said. Um, that's a, that's definitely a great point, you know. Um, and and we were definitely thinking about that when designing both of them. So that's why we have um, like a, 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 we have a lot of similarity between both of them. The drivetrain is the exact same. The um, first actual stage of the ele elevator is the, the exact same. So ideally, we could just make one drivetrain and one first stage elevator, and we just take the second stage out and kind of swap it. Um, and we do have the, um, the the materials. We actually just order our material, materials at the end of week two um, to make that happen. So we have, um, you know, we can kind of, I mean, uh, hot swappable, you know, like you can, um, that, that's kind of the idea. So we can, you know, be running with both, allow our controls team to be um, um, experimenting with both designs. Um, so I think, by uh, making those two designs very similar and interchangeable, um, it, it allows us to kind of uh, really stick with them and really um, push the extent of our testing. Yeah, I mean, it, the, the more time you have to iterate and the more things you can do, obviously the, the better that that process gets, but there is that, that point of like, um, you know, you gotta get it all together, you gotta get the system integration going so you know what you've got. Um, what week do you guys compete? We compete week one. Yeah. Oh, so, you compete week one. All right. Yeah. So at the Astro event. So, uh, yeah, <clears throat> definitely, um, <laughs> definitely trying to you know, get get a move on, and that's why we try to get all the CAD done as soon as possible. So uh, that way, once we start building things, we can just you know see that it's basically just putting things together at that point. So we can get those builds out quickly, and then we can hand it off to controls to. Um, to do all the tuning and testing with uh, programming models. So um, just want to interject in just because uh, it's always a common thing that controls never just get never gets enough time. So I want to make sure we do give them enough time for today. Is there anything else that you want to go through from a, a CAD or hardware side before we talk about controls for your robot? Um, just uh, one quick thing. Um, we are we did already um, assemble our sort modules and uh, we have our belly pan already in and polished. So uh, we are definitely uh, aiming to get our drive train on the floor very, very soon. So, um, yeah. So yeah, let's, let's hop into uh, controls and what your team's been working on for that. And, uh, you know, c controls to me sometimes has multiple uh, uh, ways that that can mean. So tell me what it means specifically for your team and what you've been working on. Yeah, so like you said, controls is a pretty broad term and it's the same for us. Uh, for controls, it's everything from uh, programming to uh, the electrical to figuring out, um, you know, all the how how we're going to actually give human input. Um, so right now, what we've been mostly focused on is getting auto working. So we built a off-season sort of robot, which is the one you see in this video here, and we were actually able to get auto working pretty well last Saturday. Um, so if I play this video, you can also see the path planner plan, uh, path planner uh, simulation on the right.
That's, yeah, all, that's awesome. And, and from an auto wise, would you say this is kind of your initial primary audio looking at doing? Uh, no, th this is just kind of, we were playing around. Oh, how, okay. How far we can push all the curves and whatnot. Um, in terms of like actual strategy, what we're thinking is we're probably going for, um, we definitely want to balance during auto. Um, and we're hoping to get at least two game pieces, if not uh, one and then holding one uh, while we're balancing. Um, so yeah, that's. One thing I want to ask is that in the auto you have it's showing in Path Planner that's going over the going over the control switch, right? So like, are you? Uh, are, it, but in the left video we didn't see that happen in there. Have you tested the robot in auto going over that yet? Um, no, we haven't tested going over the control uh, switch. Again, this was just kind of us playing around with how tight we can make the curves yeah. uh, and you know tuning, still trying to tune, making sure that we're landing at a, a familiar point uh, or the set point we want. So you can actually, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but at the very end, whoops, it, it's not letting me skip. There we go. Um, at the very end, there's a black tape right here. Um, so our bumper is actually supposed to land there and uh, we were able to get it to tune and get it to land there with all those curves. That's what we were mainly testing last Saturday was how, how far we can push it. Um, but yeah, we are definitely wanting to uh, test how auto works with uh, getting over that control switch and balancing as well. Are you are you planning on um, like I know it says that your primary goal is to to go over the control switch during autonomous, are, but are you planning to do multiple different ones depending on who your partners are, or oh, are yeah. you going to be just the master of the uh, the balance? Um, I mean, we we definitely hope to be you know consistent enough to where we can be. We can trust ourselves to get up on that control switch, but we will definitely be, you know, talking to our alliance partners and making sure that our auto is fitting the alliance the best. So if someone has an auto that they know is, you know, basically just all balancing, then we'll, you know, switch over to being more game piece oriented for that auto um, and whatnot. So. So while we have a couple of minutes left, is there anything else from controls that, that you wanted to cover or go over from what your team's been working on? Yeah, just. Uh, Quickly, we've also been experimenting with Photon, photon Vision, getting 3D April tags working. Um, we haven't quite gotten to the point of integrating the you know, actual pose estimation yet, but it was exciting to actually get this to work. Um, and then also, uh, we this was in our build, uh, build thread, but we're experimenting with going to a different CAN topology um, instead of the normal daisy chaining, which is, Still technically following the normal uh, the ISO standard, but this allows us to just plug in one of the can pairs, unlike a Falcon, and then instead of chaining that Falcon to the next Falcon, all of the uh, can devices go to this main bus, um, and that allows it so that if one device drops off, um, not all the other devices down the line are not affected by it, and it also makes it really easy to diagnose because you know all the connections are right here. So you just take a quick look at it, see if any uh, wires are damaged, any plugs are damaged, and you're set. Uh, we're still experimenting with uh, how easy this is to implement, but we have some PCBs uh, already manufactured, so it's uh, looking promising right now. Well, Yeti Robotics, you have a, a, a preseason event uh, coming up as well, too. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about that before we let you go? Sure. Uh, so, yeah, our we've been busy making field uh field props so that we can have a full field this year. And we're hoping to have, um, let's see, eSpots, uh, Omega Bytes, Slice, and then uh, BOW, who's also in the same building as us, and also a rookie team, Avian Robotics, who's also in the same building as us. And so we can have a full um, like scrimmage with everyone before the competition. It's Cool. And is that, is that something other teams are invited to, or is that an internal thing? And then uh, is there any opportunity for us to see that at all? Um, that's a great question. Uh, I'll, I would have to speak with my mentors about that, whether uh, how many people we can facilitate, uh, because it is a pretty big space, but it's already getting pretty crowded with how many teams we're yeah. inviting here. Uh, we have we already have like two FDC teams here and uh, two, two, three FRC teams. Um, so we'll have to see uh, how that plays out. We would definitely love to, uh, if we can figure out how to stream it, we would definitely love to do that though. 
Yeah, well, we'd love to see videos of, uh, you know, multiple teams on the field scoring and practicing. Um, I think it's it's a big difference from, you know, seeing one robot with nobody on the field just doing its thing versus the uh, the chaotic cycles yeah. that we're probably going to see yeah, this yeah. year. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Yeti Robotics, thank you so much for uh, telling us more about your, your progress on there. Good luck. We'll check back in with you in just three short weeks. Uh, and can't wait to see what you do. Make sure you check out Yeti Robotics, both on the Chief, Chief Delphi Build blog and also on the OA Discord. Thanks a lot, guys, and good luck. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for FIRST students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu slash FIRST. FRC Premier Night is back on Saturday, February 25th. Submit a unique video showcasing your team's charged up robot progress by Thursday, February 23rd at First Updates Now slash Premier 23. Premier Night is a great way to engage with the community. Get more information and submit your video at firstupdatesnow.com slash Premier 23. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.